It's well known by now that Apple AirPods and AirPods Pro don't play nicely with Microsoft Teams and Windows, with Microsoft simply taking the stance that these things are not certified devices and leaving a very frustrated user community. In our previous videos, we've shown you how to get around some of these limitations by using the Jabra 370 dongle. And instead of pairing the AirPods with Windows, you pair them with the Bluetooth dongle and Teams is happy. Well, happier. Now, whilst that's still a valid fix, it can be a bit awkward and there's room for an even simpler solution. And that is what we're looking at today. Here is the Sennheiser, although now called EPOS, BTD 800 ML. Basically, it's another Bluetooth dongle. But the main difference between this and the Jabra 370 solution is that you don't need to install any additional software. Out of the box, you plug it in and it goes straight into pairing mode. You'll see the LED flashes blue and red. Then simply take your AirPods Pro, open up the case, hold the button on the back until the LED on the front starts flashing white. There we are. And then give it a few seconds and these two things will pair together. Easy peasy, no software needed. Okay, so we're gonna pop into Teams and you're gonna hit your profile picture or your initials up here, go into settings and then choose devices. And you're just gonna to wanna to make sure that your audio device is set to the EPOS BTD 800. And that's it. Your AirPods are now paired with Microsoft Teams and ready to be used. Now, what we have found is that there are a couple of things to be aware of here. The audio quality is really good. The connection is reliable and it's able to take advantage of the team's noise cancellation, which is absolutely fantastic. Downsides? Well, there are three to be aware of. The AirPods only seem to work in mono, so only one device is doing the speaker and the microphone. Fortunately, it's the same one device, so that's okay. If you have your AirPods connected to your phone, quick switching between devices just isn't a reality you end up having to remove and reinsert the dongle to get the AirPods to talk to the computer again. The good news is that the iPhone doesn't actively steal the connection, so once your AirPods are connected to the PC, they're on the PC. So even if you're in the middle of a Teams call and your phone rings, it isn't going to steal the AirPods connection. But again, this reality of, of seamlessly switching between both devices with the AirPods just isn't there. Lastly, I suppose we should mention the price. The Jabra 370 dongle in our previous videos costs around £40. This one here is £56. So I guess it really is a question of, of how much is it worth for you to get your AirPods working with Teams. You see, you could go and grab a pair of these. These are the Jabra Elite 65 Ts, and they're currently half price on Amazon at £69.99. I guess in reality, the choice is yours.